Hi students, coming to the next topic in the subject software engineering was function oriented design. So actually there are main two concepts in designing process. One is a function oriented and an, another is a object oriented and user face, uh, user interface design. So these are all the different types of designing concepts. Now let us see what is a function oriented design. So the main thing, the function it is a function oriented design means it is mainly focused on the function the designing process is focusing on the functions okay so the designing here focuses on functions so again these functions are divided into sub functions again the sub functions like that so it mainly emphasis on so actually what is a function say what the function will do it mainly emphasizes on what the system does what the system is going to be do okay what the system does so that tells about the function a function is nothing but it uh, emphasizes on what the system does okay so actually we call the function uh, oriented design is nothing but it is we call it as a verb why we call it, it as a verb because it focuses on action it tells about the action so what the system does means it is explaining about the action that is going to be performed on the concept so whatever the coding is there that coding will be included in a function so that function is explaining about what the system is does means it is doing the action a function is going to do some action with the help of the code so that's why we call it as function oriented design is a concept of verb now let me explain a function oriented design so here i am writing fod a function oriented design the system is the system is comprised comprised of many smaller sub functions many smaller sub systems known as functions known as functions means here the system is divided the whole system into smaller functions suppose a, a program was there so this program is divided into sub programs sub programs means the sub functions so one function as a, again the function is divided into sub functions again that will be divided into sub functions so these functions are capable of performing significant task in the system this sub function will do one task single task this will do one single task and this will be do one single task so these functions are capable of performing significant task in the system and also these functions uh, that is the function modules we call we, another name for this also uh, is module the another name for function is as a module so these function modules can share information among themselves by means of information passing and using information available globally so let me show you in the diagram so here some shared memory was there shared memory so this shared memory is represented in globally uh, it, this uh, uh, memory is available globally so that any function in any program can access that global data so this that's why we call it as a shared memory the global data is represented as a shared memory and this is one function f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 so like this so these are all the sub functions a function or a sub function so let us say this is a function again this is a sub function to that and like this so these all the functions are sharing some data so the sh sharing information among themselves this is sharing information among themselves so these two are sharing information among themselves and these are sharing information among themselves by means of information passing and using information available globally 
so this is a function oriented design how the functions are designing in the system so taking one function again that function is divided the whole system is divided into smaller functions okay so this function oriented design works well where the system state does not matter and programmer functions works on input rather than a state state means we are giving some input to the function then the function module is going to perform some action so let me take one example for this function oriented design how the functions are implemented if you take any software program so let us take the atm machine atm machine here i have taken so this atm machine the functions here in atm machine source what are the functions that are present in atm machine so if you went to ATM machine, what you will do, you will withdraw. So this is one function or you can deposit or you can transfer. So these are the functions that you can perform in ATM machine. So what exactly the function will do? The function is focuses emphasis on what the system does. So here what the system is doing, what the system does is the operation, uh, the function consisting of. So here what that ATM machine function is doing, the action that is doing is withdraw, deposit and transfer. Okay. And here these are the, and here we will write, write a series of code. So this series of code will perform some action. So suppose let us take this is a function. Again this function will divide it into sub functions. A system, a complete system, that complete whole system is divided into small functions. So the ATM machine is a complete system. That ATM machine system is divided into functions, a small programs we call it as a functions again these functions are divided into sub function so to withdraw money what we have to do it consists of uh, actually this consists of some piece of code so in that again it will be divided into sub functions like we have to do insert pin number uh, amount to withdraw verification print everything will be done here so to withdraw a money a pin verification has to be done first pin verification so this is one function okay so after pin verifications we have to enter the amount that we have to be uh, withdraw that is the insert function okay again after that we have to enter the pin number uh, whatever we are that pin number and the amount that has to be withdraw and like finally it has to print the copy so these are all the sub functions that are present in the the main function withdraw so again for the de deposit also the pin verification is internal sub function and the amount that you are going to be deposited and the print and for the transfer also you are having the sub functions so this is how this a uh, function oriented is going to be designed it's taking the main function main system main system is divided into functions again these functions are divided into sub functions okay so like that so the function oriented design follows the first thing let me write the point the function oriented design follows sdlc method software development lifecycle methodology it is following software de development lifecycle uh, methodology and the fee the key focus on this function oriented design is on functions so it is mainly suitable for it is mainly suitable for well defined projects this function oriented design is mainly suitable for well defined projects with stable user requirements and the high level of risk is there in fod the function oriented design and the reusability is low in fod so for functional oriented design, designs can be represented mathematically or graphically by using, let me write that point, for a function oriented design, 
can be represented can be represented mathematically mathematically or graphically by using some techniques so by using some concept we can we can represent the function oriented design in the mathematically or in graphically so what are those points that uh, by using data flow diagrams okay by using data dictionary next structure star charts structure charts and pseudo code so for designing the function oriented uh, design it these function oriented designs can be represented mathematically or graphically by using this technique so the data flow diagram is nothing but it process on map programs of a system okay it process map program of system data flow diagrams in out how the process is going to one function is uh, uh, inserting in another function so in out like that so uh, this can be represented mathematically or graphically next data dictionary so data dictionary contains all the data items that we want to use in the system the data dictionary consists of list of different data items used on used in system and what about the structured charts structured charts depicts modular design of a program it depicts the modular design of a program and what about the pseudo code so pseudo code depicts the logic of program okay so this is about the functional oriented design concept thank you